everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to add API keys to your API. Ever since I made um, a few videos on how to make APIs, I've just been asked how to add keys to it. And essentially, it's a really simple thing to do, which will stop people from using your um, your API without like permission, I guess. And sometimes, if you want to run a service, people have to pay for a key. I guess most of you watching this have know about APIs anyway, so. Uh, we might as well just get started with the video. You can see here what I've got is a basic a bit of code which will go to a YouTube link and uh, you can see I've got the enter key there but if I refresh it because I was testing it beforehand uh, what we've got is it will navigate to a link and then it will return uh, the title of the video. Now what we want is to add another parameter you see I've got video we want to add a new one called key and we only want to do this is if the key is valid uh, so it's a fairly simple little check essentially which could save you uh, a lot of people using it which you don't want so um, what we'll do is we'll create a new uh, thing called a key and that's going to be equal to underscore get and that will be key as well and because now keys are like most important thing we, this is the thing we want to check first this will be our first check so we'll just say is if key is equal to nothing we'll just echo um, please uh, enter a key and then else if they did enter a key then uh, instead of just letting them do it because they entered a key we want to check if the key is actually valid um, but to check if that we need to actually have a bunch of keys to check from so what we're going to do is we're going to create an array called API keys and that's going to be equal to an array and we can put the values right into here uh, so we'll have um, one called a key or we'll have one called uh, admin and we'll have one called let's say Merck hopefully you get the idea all your keys will be stored here uh, this is like a pre-programmed way of having the keys in and it's uh, it's more suited for like let's say if you have a like a handful of users but if you want to run sort of a service where they got buy keys you might want to have it running from uh, a database where you retrieve the data that's actually what I did in my personal one but it's not really needed for just showing you how to do it uh, so you could also have it running from like a um, like I've shown in the past you can have text files on the server and you'll retrieve each line of the text file and store it in this array and you'll check it the same way so I'll just go ahead and show you this one to like stop me from consuming time up uh, so what we've got we've got our array here if they did enter a key we want to check if the key they entered is in here if it is in there we want to carry on that's essentially what we're doing it's very simple so we can just say if and we'll use something called in underscore array if the key is in the API keys array then we want to allow them to do what they want to do which is this we'll put that there we just might have to tab that in a little bit and then if the key uh, what was I doing? If the key isn't valid, we'll just say echo uh, key is not correct or something like that. Something along those lines. The key is not valid or found in our system, you could say. So that would be a basic check. So if we go and upload this file onto the server real quick. We find it. Video. There we have it. Now, if we refresh that, we should see please enter a key, and that's because we do not even have one. So we can just say key, you can see I've done it before, key is equal to admin, which we have, and then we've got to put the and just because this we've got more than one parameter and press enter. And you should see now it's doing what it's doing, returning titles or videos, and that's because we've got the admin key. And you see I've made three different ones Merc, key, and admin. Now if I put something here that isn't in, or one of those three, let's say I'll put test, press enter, 
and you'll see key is not correct. So there you have it. There's a very simple way of um, getting the API keys in, and that is using the pre-programmed method, which is good, but it could be sort of not good if you're running something that's much bigger. So uh, that's that. And what I what I did want to show you is because let's say this is a title, something that returns titles. Um, you could have something called methods um, and I'll just create a new thing called a method and that will be equal to um, the same thing underscore get uh, we'll call it method help if I put an M and what that's going to do is if the key is valid we just want to say if method is equal to um, nothing now and we'll say echo please enter the method and then else if method is equal to let's say title because that's what this one is then we'll put our title code in like that and then might have to tab that one time And then if the method is equal to let's say views, which I don't have the code for, but this is what uh, what would you would do, then with it let's say we'll just echo it, for example, and I'll make up a random view count. And then at the end we'll say else um, echo method is invalid. So I'll explain that in a second. We'll just We'll put it on the server real quick. Uh, video. Now we should see the key is not correct, so let's put a let's put a correct key. And now it says please enter a method. So at the end here, we could we could put it anywhere. We'll just say and method is equal to uh, we got the title, and that will return us our title. Now we could change the method to views. There is no code to get the real views. If I press enter, you'll see there's the views. That would get the um, let's. If I had the code there, that would get the real view count on the video. And then if I change the method to something else, it should say method is invalid. Uh, so you see that. So hopefully that helps because this is like a, a YouTube API. You could say I could have various different methods. So I could have a method for to get the title, one for the views maybe one for the the like to dislike count the amount of comments so the possibilities are sort of endless i could make methods for everything with, with that link that the user entered but now the file is secure with a key and it also has different options so instead of having lots let's say you've got a php file for the tile then you've got a separate one for that there's no need to make multiple files when you can store it all in one uh, so you're saving space uh, making everything much cleaner on your server as well so uh, pretty sort of random video but I was getting asked it a little bit so there we have it now you know something else um, so I hope you did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time